Hey, 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 guys, it's Old Man G here back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And today we're going to talk, be talking about the, uh, these two men here Mario Mandzukic and Paul Dabala and the latest updates regarding them. Now, to be honest, I wasn't really going to do this, this, this video, so, but just um, a recent turn of events, I felt it best to at least just post something about this. So, as obviously, as a lot of you already know, Paul uh, Dabala has been linked to move to, uh, to Manchester United in relation to a swap deal um, with Romelu Lukaku. Juventus are very, very keen um, on um, getting Romelu Lukaku, presumably as competition for Cristiano Ronaldo, and seem to be seem to want to let um, Paolo de Bala go because they, they don't want to stump up the 75 million for Lukaku, but they feel like if they give de Bala, um and that valuation is met uh, and it's fine, you know. So, now like I said, I didn't think I was going to really uh, cover this. But to be honest, the only reason why I think there's going to be some legs to this story is the fact that Juventus recently, because Everton have announced the selling of Moise Kin. Moise Kin, who's now now an Everton player. And now Moise Kin was, he wasn't a massive, massive figure. Um, but it's officially been announced that he's now, now an Everton player. So you've got to think, um, who... Who else do do um, Juventus have uh, striking wise that can potentially play alongside, be substitute, or get involved along with Cristiano Ronaldo? De is not really a forward or striker. Um, Mandzukic is getting old, so clearly now it makes sense that wanting to get someone like, like Lukaku, Lukaku, who people need to bear in mind is only still in his mid is in his mid twenties, is a good upfront option for Juventus to basically have so I think that I don't know I just think that would Juventus have sold Moise Kane to Everton if they didn't feel that they were at least in for getting Romelu Lukaku um, so I think that selling uh, Moise Kane to Everton is starting to give things legs now and basically the recent reports this is actually gone by the Sunday Times actually a Sunday Times UK newspaper and it's been carried on by Sky Sports as well, but it's predominantly in the um, the Sunday Times today, talking about Paul de Bala and Marins and Suki. Paul de Bala, in the context of um, Juventus, clearly wants this deal to go through. Paul de Bala is essentially being um, well. He essentially has to make a decision. Um, he's holding crisis talks with Sari. Um, it looks like he's almost been forbidden. He's been he's training by himself. Um, not been included, um, like at least within the first team sort of discussions, at least according to what the Sunday Times is saying. Um, essentially, that essentially what's happening is they're trying to force him out of the, out of the club. They're trying to force him to to take this deal so they can have on Lukaku. And Paul de Bala seems to be upset and frustrated. Um, now, again, there is something to be said about how um, you know. Do you think that um, I don't know? Do you think that? It's a good idea to sell a play to buy a player who doesn't really want to leave Juventus. Who's not happy to go to Manchester United. Who thinks that Manchester United is a step down um, from being where he is? Is that the type of player who hasn't really had time to gel, um, you know, with the club um, during preseason or anything like that? Do you think it's a good idea for him to co to come to Manchester United? I'm not sure, especially with the high amount of wages that he's going to sort of be de be demanding. Um, but one of the things that, well, okay, this was in the Daily Mail, and to be honest, I don't trust this 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 UK source with, with arm and leg, but it, I think it's just good to report it because now other news outlets are reporting it as well. But the original source seems to come from the Daily Mail, is that apparently um, United United have also set aside Mario Mandzukic um, after agreeing personal terms, um, even if the swap deal involving Romelu Lukaku and hits the rock. So essentially, it seems that. Maraman Zukic potentially, although I don't trust, I just think it's unlikely, I think it's weird, although I would understand from the point of view of, although Maraman Zukic is 33, um, uh, he he is another option, another option for United to bring on, bring off from the bench as a forward option, a bit more experienced, um, just something different, and he's very tall Maraman Zukic, so, you know, it's almost like signing a Giroud type player, um, for United, I think, although you know he's on a, apparently according to, to to the mail, he's agreed a free year deal of one hundred twenty thousand a week, which considering what other players on is not that bad. It's only three years as well. Um, 
I still think it's a bit kind of, can we not sign any other forwards? Is this gonna, are we going to stun Mason Greenwood by giving him this sort of thing? But at the same time, it is a different option. And I do think that it is good to have, I'm a traditionalist in a sense, and I do think it's always good to have another option of you know, bringing a striker in the last 10, 15 minutes who's good in the air, throw them in the box, put it in a, a cross or corner, something and I have seen Man Mandzukic um, score those types of goals for Juventus some before and, and he does those things so if we can get him on the cheap then I don't think it's inherently it's inherently a bad signing but again this is only coming from the Daily Mail um, so really I think take this with a very very big pinch of salt the big big thing really is just with Dybala there's other things as well on the fact that like um, according to um, uh, I think it's Yogi Anta um yeah. Sorry, not according to Yogi Hunter. Um, basically, according to Sky Sports Italia, sorry, get that, get my source right. According to Sky Sports Italia, United aren't particularly happy with Dybala's agent because of the amount the age the amount of agency fees that obviously are going to pay to him. So that's again something that could be slowing the deal down. Um, and adding to the sort of the frustration regarding Dybala, as I said before, he's been forced to train on his own and has been put on the transfer list. You know, so. I, I don't know what you think about this, guys, but really, um, I'd be very... To be honest, I guess what I've said in previous videos, I think Dybala is a distraction. To be honest, I'd be more happy with getting Bruno Fernandes and maybe an, a Mandzukic and Lukaku goes. Um, because I just think that you're going to get another high-paid player who's in his mid-20s, who doesn't want to potentially come to United who's already throwing him who doesn't want to leave. I just think that that type of player, in combination with other players, may be quite toxic at the club. Um, and I also think that, again, it's not a position that we desperately need to reinforce. He's a good player, no doubt he's talented, but he can be inconsistent. And considering the fact that we desperately need a midfielder, and we're yet to hear about Bruno Fernandes, I mean, we ha essentially have guys... There's four more days the transfer window left. If United are going to sign either Bruno Fernandes or Dybala, it's going to have to be done ASAP. Uh, and we will have a, a, a midnight show, a midnight show, probably an hour show, um, probably about 11 o'clock-ish that they're about, basically just sort of almost counting down to to, to deadline, transfer deadline, you know, just talking about um, Manchester United and what you expect. So that is something that we're obviously going to going to be going to be covering also stay tuned this friday evening as well it's going to be our premier league fans uh live radio red devil studio live where we basically will get a lot of premier league fans as we um preview the up and coming season so stay in tune for that and on top of that we'll be starting our pairs videos as well i'll be p p posting a reaction uh, to the pairs 2020 demo sometime tonight so stay tuned for that as well Thanks for listening, guys. Do you think the Bal and Manzukic are good signings? Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil, Stu Devil Studio and comment below. Follow us on Twitter at WeAreUnitedX. Have a nice evening, guys, and cheers.